Hello from CNN London. I'm Monita Rajpal. This is World Report. They came to bring down a dictator who was accused of building weapons of mass destruction. Seven years later, they're leaving behind a country in flux. The last U.S. brigade combat team has left Iraq, a major step toward ending American combat involvement by the end of this month. Forces will leave Iraq by the end of next year. Well, it has been more than a day since much of that last U.S. brigade combat team left Iraq. The announcement of their departure was delayed for security reasons. CNN's Arwa Damon was with some of the U.S. troops as they prepared to head home. Flood victims in Pakistan have been watching the water rise and their belongings wash away for three weeks now, and millions of them are still waiting for help. It's going to take a lot of money to help Pakistan get through this. The United Nations is saying it needs $460 million for relief efforts, and it's only collected half the amount expected to promise months when the UN General Assembly meets later today. That's of an announcement the European Union that it's pledged. Well, the UN Office for Humanitarian Affairs says more than four and a half million flood victims out shelter. Kyung La Kyung. Well, Monita, I'm going to steal a word there from you. You said trickle, and it is absolutely a trickle. It is Let's not. Let's bring you up to date on some of the other stories that are feeding into us here at CNN. Former chief of the Nelson Mandela Children's Fund tells the Financial Times he's, quote, happy under the circumstances to resign as trustee of the charity. They're called Roma, and French police have rounded up around 700 of them and are flying them back to their home countries of Romania and Bulgaria today. Police have dismantled some 51 Roma camps over the past few weeks, calling them illegal. European Union leaders say they are monitoring the move, which critics call xenophobic. So who are the Roma, often referred to as gypsies? They're Europe's largest and fastest growing ethnic minority. Numbers are hard to determine, but it is believed approximately 4 million live in and central, uh, live in central and in Eastern Europe. And there are an estimated 15,000 Roma in France. The Roma have been persecuted throughout history. Hundreds of thousands of them were murdered by the Nazis during World War II. We want to get some perspective now on this, on these expulsions and uh, this crackdown on the Roma. Let's go to our senior international uh, correspondent, Jim Bitterman, joining us now from CNN Paris. And Jim, first of all, is this move by Paris, by France, is it legal for them to expel these Roma? Well, that's one of the things that the European Commission is going Paris, to be... thank you so much for that. We want to warn you now about our next story in the video that uh, we're about to show. It is very graphic. It shows alleged police brutality in the Philippines. Here, take a look. A Manila television station aired rescuers in China expect the death toll from mudslides in the southwest of the country to rise already. At least two people have died and 90 are missing. For a look at the weather picture in that region, let's go to Mari Ramos at the World Weather Center. Mari. Hey, Monita. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, continues to be a problem across uh, China. Monita Rajpal in London. World Sport is next.